Okay, thank you so much for subscribing, guys. Uh, my name is Waswa Emanuel. This is Waswa Emma YouTube channel. For this case, we're gonna have an English session for my friends who are always speaking Uganda. Man, the room is only But as I told you, we're gonna be mixing sessions for our local language in Uganda and then others for English. Today's case, uh, I want to be discussing about uh, depression. Very many people are being tortured by depression. Very many of us don't understand what depression is. Uh, I'm one of the, those victims who've been facing depression for a very long time, at least now for almost a year. I've been living in a state of depression, uh, but I've, been, I've managed to survive. You can pose up some questions that how have I made it to make sure that at least I made it all the issues I've been going through, I have managed to be alive and you're still seeing me maybe. So we're going to discuss what is depression, what causes depression, how does it affect? For my case, my main cause of depression was one, I was about uh, the economic depression. That was after me losing my my companies, one. That was the biggest problem I faced, uh, losing all my companies. My companies were making money, millions of money. So uh, due to the problems I faced, which I won't repeat here, I had to lose them out. The second cause of my depression uh, was me losing my brand. Since I've been a YouTuber for a long time, having a very good uh, representation in the public, uh, I've been having so many friends. So that situation of uh, waking up, losing up money, the company closing, you know, uh, the channel going down, facing a lot of charges, man, I had to go into a very big depression, staying in poverty, you see. So, depression has uh, different types. And uh, the definition of depression, in a simple term, this is the change of your moods, whereby uh, you start losing out yourself, you start lacking uh, very many things in your body, Depression can be psychological caused. Depression can even cause the effect of your physical appearance. You start paling, you grow small like me. <laughs> Those are all effects of a depression in life. Are you getting it? So, um, depression can be short term or it can be persistent. The persistent type of depression, it's a bit mild, but it keeps affecting you for a very long time. Then as that, it can come in a situation whereby it comes very quick, it catches you, affects you in a short period of time, it goes away. Other people are having what we call bipolar. A bipolar is a situation whereby your moods keep changing. Someone is okay in the morning time, by the evening, someone is becoming very moody, tough and terrible. So, those are all types of depressions which people go through. I'm speaking about this depression because... Uh, I've been facing it and I know what it means, you see. So let us go direct to the causes of depression. Why are people depressed? Why is the world depressed? Very many friends of mine, very many people who are living there, those ones who are watching me, guys, you are so depressed in life. But everyone has a reason as he or she is depressed. Some of the causes, the, we are going to talk about the common causes. We may not look into the difficult ones. Let's, let's look about the usual ones, how they affect us. The biggest cause of depression is the economic depression, the economic factor. Since we are living in a world whereby the economy is very bad, everyone is being facing a lot of problems in, 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 in the economy, people are losing money. People end up being depressed because you're not earning. Maybe you're earning little, you're not working, you see. Uh, you end up facing challenges. You have to spend, you have to take care of, you have to take care of yourself. So, in this case, you start losing confidence, you start losing friends, no one can be there for you. People end up being depressed. People end up changing moods. People become mad <laughs> because of economy. You see, money is a very big factor in this world. So that one is a cause of depression. There is what you call loneliness. Loneliness, this one is most of the times caused, uh, but it's, uh, it, it, is, it always affects uh, people who are always confined or people who don't have people to live with. For example, our friends who are in the diaspora, 
people always move from one country to another country uh, to stay there. You can't go there as a refugee. Others go there for because they're looking for work. Others go to study. You end up being in a foreign land. Oh, man, you don't know anyone in that country. There's a problem of language barrier. You sometimes you find you cannot relate with their food. Uh, you don't have anyone to talk to. People end up staying lonely. Others get what we call homesick. Someone is staying in America. Someone is staying in the UK. Others are staying in uh, this Arab world. They're always alone in the house. The only thing they do is wake up, go to work, come back, sleep. Wake up, go to work, come back, sleep. The only thing they relate with sometimes it is their phones and the televisions or maybe their laptops. So uh, you can't say like that. People end up falling homesick. Someone is just they are not sick, but is missing home, is missing friends. So you end up being depressed in that. Oh, that is disturbing people. Another cause of depression uh, is uh, we have a problem of uh, love life, love and relationship. Uh, people, the world has changed. People are so tough in issues concerning love. Uh, people are not faithful, they're not trustworthy. Others are always fa facing problems whereby uh, they keep on being chased away from relationships, they keep on losing their husbands, keep on losing their women. So, uh, since love is a very big factor in our life, someone becomes depressed. People lose confidence because whenever they start engaging in love relationships, they end up failing, you see. So, uh, love, all love problems, in most of the times, it causes a lot of depression. There is family history. That's another cause of depression. Uh, uh, many of us don't have a clear family background. Some of us lost parents at a very early age. Uh, some of us don't know where we came from. Many of you are there. You don't even know any single person. Of your, your family you're just in the world alone you see because you're affected by the wars uh, fa family members died long time ago they got lost your father neglected you your parents you ended up going on the streets like someone you know so uh, that kind of situation as you're growing people start thinking about their future people start thinking about the future as of their kids like wh where is the generation where is my generation the, the next generation how are they going to survive what will I tell my kids if they ask me where is our history? What will I tell them? What will happen? So that kind of uh, effect, that kind of a poor background, uh, unclear background of life uh, leads to a depression. People become very anxious about their life. So people start getting depressed. Someone can be having a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of riches, but not knowing his roots. That's why you find people, someone is in Europe, starts moving from Europe to Africa, maybe looking for his roots, where he came from, what happened to his family, you see? So it has been a very clear example to the world. So that is affecting people. Uh, there's another one, which comes from pregnancy. Mm. Mothers, you know what it means if you're pregnant. Uh, pregnant ladies, mm, since everyone ha has a situation where she go through when she's pregnant, so different people are always affected because of pregnancy. Some of them become annoyed, you see. Uh, at some point, uh, women even chase their husbands away from uh, marriage because that person is pregnant. The pregnancy is affecting her, are you getting it? So people become depressed. Uh, that situation of holding another baby in the stomach, you know, you always want one human, but in, at the same time having another on his side. So people ending up being depressed because of that such kind of pregnancy. Other people are affected by illness, diseases. If at all uh, you, you stay in a situation where you're always sick, every day, every time, others are having chronic diseases which are not cured at all. Uh, someone is staying with HIV. You have told you you're going to stay with HIV for the next 20 years of your life, 30 years. People start you know, getting worried of what next. Staying on medication every time causes depression. The medication, you know, cancer disturbs people. So, issues concerning illness causes a lot of depression. People, people even end up losing life. They're getting it. So, uh, illness is another issue concerning that. Uh, too much alcohol and um, drug abuse. 
If you overuse alcohol, if you overuse drugs, you misabuse it, uh, then the next thing is will be depressed, de be getting depressed. Because if you become a, a drunk or too much drunkard, if you drink a lot of alcohol, you lose work, you lose friends, you become sick at the same time. If you, you utilize you too much use of uh, uh, drugs, cause to a lot, losing of friends, whatever, everything concerning that. So you lose up everything around you, you end up remaining alone. So you start befriending alcohol or drugs as your next of kin. So people are always depressed because of too much alcohol in their life. So guys, let's reduce it. Then uh, this is a bit technical, but it's true. Menopause. If I talk about menopause, many of you may, many of you may not relate about it, but menopause this is the situation um, whereby a woman is not able to give birth. So, how does it affect us? Many of us, menopause starts at around age of 45 to 55. There, you start, you, you've entered the ages of, men, of menopause. So, many of us keep studying, we spend time working, looking for money, building future. We always fail to spare time for giving birth and recreating a family. So, uh, Someone reaches at 45, starts looking for a kid. Now, whenever you try to get to look for a kid, you fail. Someone is having wealth, but not, not even having a single kid in the world. So very many people are there, old enough, very rich, living a good life, but they can't access kids. So people become depressed. Someone thinks about how she's going to die without a child in this world. If she dies, where is where is she going to put all her wealth? Where is her legacy? So that kind of situation causes depression and people end up dying in houses and suffering. So that's depression. Now, after all these ones, uh, what are the effects? If you're depressed, how are you affected? Mm, me, when I was depressed, as I was going through this whole situation, I used to face very many uh, challenges, uh, a lot of effects came into my, my body. And I think some of them are here. I'm telling you, uh, some of them, I passed through them, then others, it's from the research. Uh, if you're depressed, many of you, when you're depressed, you lose sleep and others oversleep. It's a two way. Now for my case, whenever I'm depressed, I sleep too much. If I'm focusing on something or oh, something is disturb disturbing me, I can sleep even for 24 hours without waking up. So whenever I'm depressed or affected by a situation, I'm always in bed. I can sleep as if I'm dead. <laughs> but for others, someone may tell you, man, I'm not sleeping these days because I'm too much stressed or I'm depressed. So actually, those are some of the signs which shows that you have any depression, you're facing a depression. If you're lacking sleep, People are always up in the night, <laughs> watching movies, watching porn, everything. People are not concentrated at all. So for my case, if I'm depressed or if uh, I'm stressed, I oversleep. Signs of showing that I'm depressed is me thinking about sleep every time. But whenever I sleep, my mind's concentrated. That's the chance I'm having that I can sleep for a full day. But by the time I wake up, I can be having a solution to my problems. Uh huh. So uh, effects of uh, depression, there is a, what we call loss of appetite or change in appetite. For some people, many of them, the majority, lose appetite of eating. So I'm among the victims. For my case, if I'm depressed or stressed, uh, I don't eat. I eat little food. Actually, in nature, I'm not good at eating. I can even spend that day without eating. But uh, if I'm depressed, it becomes too much. Whenever I'm trying to eat food, it is tasteless. And most of the time, I have to take pill pill. I don't know how you call pill pill <laughs> in, 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 in English, but in Uganda, you call it kaumulali. I have to take pill pill to spice up the food so that it tastes a little bit, so that I can at least I can eat some small food. So for that case, if you're depressed, change in appetite yeah, can also affect you. At the same time, then you start getting even other sicknesses and diseases. 
Uh, there is what you call sadness. Whenever you're depressed, people are always sad. It's very hard to find a depressed person laughing or happy. People are always confined people because of depression. So that has also, has also been affecting me, always feeling a sad moment, always having a very sad face, a gloomy face, because you don't know what next in life. You're always there. Man, <laughs> depression is just difficult. Uh, then another thing, if you're depressed, there is a problem of uh, lack of concentration. You can't concentrate. For example, as us, like me who is a creator, it's so difficult to create content if you're, if you're depressed or you're stressed. Content is one of the things which needs a lot of uh, concentration. People already see us on the internet here and on YouTube doing our content. Someone thinks content creation is a, is a joke. But my friend, just creating a story of five minutes can take you a day. You need to research, you need to read much. So, if you're depressed, there's no way you can concentrate on your work in any capacity you're doing, any, any job you're doing. As long as you're depressed, you cannot manage that situation. So you end up facing a problem of lack of concentration in whatever you're doing. Uh, there is what you call a loss of interest uh, in your favorite activities. Uh, you may be the, I, I think everyone has something you like in this world. For example, for my case, I love motorsport so much. Yes. Others love sex. Others love eating. Others love football. Everyone has something you enjoy in life, your favorite. Others love dating. So if you go under depression, you end up uh, losing interest in whatever you like. You can forget about your happiness. For example, me, I'd forgotten about my happiness. Whenever I could be there, I could be already thinking about my past, my problems, what went wrong, where it went wrong, what next in my life. So you will end up forgetting happiness about yourself. So man, uh, depression causes losing of your favorite games, your favorite issues. So there, there's what you call fatigue. You always feel fatigued uh, if you're facing depression. Uh, problems concerning heart, heart problems, you know, a lot of things, pressure increases in your life if you, 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 you're depressed. So you end up even losing your health. You become sick every time you're guilty. <laughs> You know, whenever depression is disturbing you, you only think you are the one in wrong. So, oh, wow. I can't even imagine. Depression? Nah. No, 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 no. So, uh, after having the effects of it, let's take some few minutes and look at uh, how do we survive this situation. Because uh, even if you face depression, at the end of the day, you have to look for a solution <coughs> on how to survive because you want to die if you don't fight for your life you end up losing it all they will bury you <laughs> and you know you only have one chance in life you survive once you die once you're produced once you survive once and you die once so very people have lost life now how do we help our fellows who are depressed there how can you solve depression how can you overcome it how can you stay alive how can you change life because i'm sure everyone at any point you are depressed depending on your targets of the world your situation your life how you live how you resonate how you relate so let's go to uh, the solutions to depressions how do you handle it first and foremost you should learn how to accept a situation for my case uh, after all the problems i faced i decided to sit down and accept that emma Mm. In Luganda to Gamba, Watomeda, you knocked. <laughs> you have to accept that this one went wrong. So I have to accept that I lost the company, I lost the money, I lost the, the, the name, I lost everything, I lost friends. So I have to accept that now I'm on zero, I'm nobody in this world. I need to start afresh and see how I do things. So you have to accept. If you don't accept that we're a loser at a certain point, then you refresh your mind, <laughs> you press another button or you play the next, you may not survive depression. You may be buried. You may die off. So, learn to accept a situation. If anything comes across yourself, you have lost money, a friend, a love life, accept that it's gone. If you accept that it's gone, it will be very easy for you to make a turn back or a comeback. 
Secondly, uh, you have to face your fears. To whatever caused a depression to you, make sure you face the fears. I used to fear my people. I used to fear everyone. But one day I was like, no, 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 no. Let me face anyone who is having an issue with me. Although someone is going to abuse me, although someone is going to do anything bad to me, <clears throat> let me face the situation. So if you decide to face your fears, you can easily solve and conquer depression. Because whenever you're fearing your enemy, you whenever you're fearing a challenge, you will backstep and end up being depressed because you won't be having a solution. But if you wake up and start chasing the goals, start conquering the fear, you get that moment and then you get a solution to your issues. So for that case, make sure you face your fears. Uh, you have to stay in touch with life. Always keep that positive mind in yourself. Don't withdraw at any point. You have to be strong enough if you want to conquer depression and survive in it. Always make sure you stay in touch with, with whatever is disturbing you. If your issues concerning the family history, make sure you stay in touch with it. Keep chasing the goal. Don't lose up your mind. That's how you can conquer depression. I was speaking about the out of, out of experience because this is what I've been going through. Uh, then secondly, uh, be active. Yes. If you love playing football, try to engage in football. If you love watching movies, watch the movies. Try to be active. Don't just sit home, start sleeping and becoming an idoler. Whenever you're active, the mind will wake up. You look for solutions. You'll make sure you see how you survive. In all the situation of depression, make sure you avoid alcohol. Because we know alcohol is one of the causes of depression. Many of us, after taking alcohol, we always think we drink to forget our problems. But at the moment, the alcohol, the hangover is over. The problem starts where it stopped. Out together. So, make sure you keep, stay safe, stay away from alcohol. This can help you to build up your body and you come back in life after that depression. Don't drink too much. Drink some little, just to relax. But not drinking excessively. So that is it. Uh, make sure at any point of depression, make sure you don't forget eating. My friend, the biggest source of life is eating. Make sure you eat however small it is and eat healthy. Don't just eat anything anyhow. Make sure you eat what suits your life you will be able to catch up with depression. Dieting is very important for our life. What do you eat? At what time? Make sure you eat properly. Make sure if you have the capacity to eat anything, you eat it at the right time. Most of us in depression, we forget about eating. Now, if you stop eating, you end up getting other problems. Disease coming and other factors. Start growing small, losing weight. So make sure you eat. Eat at the right time. If not that, make sure you eat properly. Eat a diet. Expensive food, no. You can eat cheap things, but with diet. This one will keep your mind awake and alive. So you, it will help you to survive all situations concerning that. Have a routine on your life. Make sure you always have a routine. I don't want you depressed. Just get to know that at this time, I'm sleeping. At this time, I'm eating. At this time, I'm supposed to be doing this. Always have a routine at the timetable of what you're doing. Yes. Then in depression, make sure you always have a good company. Keep friends around. Not every friend. Always keep yourself with positive people. You don't need to have 100 people around you in depression times. You need only to have those few people who relate with you, who love you, who believe in you, who resonate with you. Me, in all my situations, I have like five to six people who are always by my side. Those ones are the people who believe in Emma. Those ones are the people who, who accept even if I'm in a mess or in a mistake. They know I'll rectify it. These people know my real character. 
So always have those few people. You don't need, to, whenever you're doing, you're, you're moving with your life, you don't need to have very many to assist you. You can have your boyfriend, you can have a girlfriend, you can, that person can be your mother, your father, your dad, your friend, your cousin, a workmate. That one person who accepts that you are a champion, that one person who believes in you, that person should be around you in terms of depression to comfort you, to solve your mind, to make sure that you, you move ahead. So, friends, family, good people, make sure they are always with you. And in depressions, don't think about dying or don't think about suicide. My dear, we have only one life. So don't joke about, don't joke with life. Life is precious. However suffering you are in, always think about a second chance. You cannot have a second chance in this world if you are dead. Whenever you think about suicide, there is no any second chance in life. That is, I don't want you to start thinking about death. Just know that's the last chance you're having. You cannot do anything if you're in a grave. You can't and you'll never be successful in a grave. However much you're suffering, don't even think about dying or even thinking about committing suicide. Let death be your last resort. Let death encounter you when it is unavoidable. Because death can come when it's unavoidable. Let death be a natural cause to you, not a factor caused by yourself. Thank you for always coming back to my channel. Subscribe. My name is Wasa Emanuel. I'm always powered by Beaver Organic. Hamukasa Road for all your natural herbal remedies. Stay well and stay safe.